you've now created your graph. If you're using Excel 2013, then there is an easier way or a different way to add the note to the graph, which is what we're going to look at now. And there's a separate video tutorial that you can watch. However, if you're using Excel 2010 or earlier, then this is the only way uh, that you can add text to a graph. Now, the question asks for this note to be added. And the note needs to say, if you make late payments, then it will cost you an additional, and we've got to put the additional cost in here. If we go back to our leasing model, and we have a look, there is that additional cost, £1,074.47. So we want that to appear here. This will involve an extra, and then we want the number of additional payments, over a period of, and then we want the additional years, and, and then here, we want to put the additional months. Now, we already have a graph, and depending on how you've created it, it's either going to be in a worksheet, in which case you'll see uh, your letters across the top, your numbers down the side, and at this point, you don't need to do the next few steps, because if it's in a worksheet, that's fine. If it's not in a worksheet and it's in its own uh, chart, then we need to move it to a worksheet. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. We're going to get rid of this sheet. And we're going to create a new sheet called graph. And then we're going to paste our graph into this new sheet. So, oops, I've just moved the chart within it there. I didn't want to do that. We just want to move the main part of it. I'm just going to make it bigger so that it fills uh, most of my worksheet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the text behind here so that it can be seen through the chart. Now I'll just give you an example. If I was to write some words here, we would want to be able to see those showing through on this chart. So first of all, we need to make the background of the chart transparent. So we're going to right hand click on our graph and we've got to get the right part of it for this to work. There we go. A right hand click and you'll see the option format chart area. It needs to be the chart area that we're going to format. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it so that it has no fill. And when it's no fill, that means it becomes transparent. And now you can see what I have put in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the text from the question in the background here. The first thing we need to do is make some space for where that text is going to go. And I'm going to merge a few cells together. So I'm going to merge these cells together and that's where the text is going to go. So notice I had to move the graph before I could edit these um, cells. You can't do it whilst the graph is in the way. But we merge the cells by right hand click, format cells, We'll go to alignment and then we can merge them and they'll become one single cell. I also want to wrap the text within that cell so that it won't continue on one line but it will wrap the text around. And I'm going to click on OK. What we're going to do at this stage is take the text from the question, which is here. Now I need my select tool, so I'm just going to right hand click, choose the select tool. And I'm going to copy that text. And I'm going to paste it in here. It's not going to let me do it. So what I'm going to do is try pasting it in this part. There we go. So it let me paste it in the address bar. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that speech mark at the end. And now we can see that's the text that we want to be displayed. If I move the chart back up over it, I can just check that it's in the right location. It is, that's great. Well, what we need to do is change these values here where it says additional costs, additional years, additional months and additional payments and actually put the values in. To do that, we need to turn this into uh, a concatenated formula. That is where we're going to join together different parts of the form of the text and the data from the other worksheet. I'm going to start off 
by turning this into a formula that just includes equals, it's going to have all this text in a speech mark, okay, and it's going to put it in. So look, it says equals speech mark, it's got everything, then it finishes with a speech mark, and it still puts that text in there. I'm now going to break this up into sections. So everywhere I need to put in a value, I'm going to break it up. And the way I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the text there. I'm going to use the ampersand symbol, which means and. And I'm going to start the text again. So what that does is it includes this bit of text and this bit of text. And I'm going to keep doing that. Okay, so I'm going to finish here. So I'm going to put a speech mark at the end of this additional payments bit. I'm going to put an ampersand there and another speech mark. I'm going to keep the space there though because I want a space after where it says additional payments. And we can keep doing this so that we've broken this up into a whole set of sections. One more to do. I didn't want to delete that yet. I'll delete it in a minute. So we'll just put that there. And months. Now, when I do that, you can join them all together. Now, there's a reason for breaking this up because everywhere where we've broken it up, we now need to put in the actual values that we need. So at this point here, I need to put in what the additional cost is going to be. Now, I do that by putting in another ampersand for and, and then I can put in between these two ampersands the formula which is going to refer to the leasing model. So I'm going to click on leasing model and choose the additional cost. You can see it's put and leasing model J4. So it's actually picking up that data and it's putting that in. So it's got some text before it, then this value and then some text after it. Let's look at what it looks like so far. So I'll press enter. There we go. An additional cost 1074.47. I just need to get rid of this temporary word that I put in there. So I'll get rid of that temporary word. There you go. It will cost you an additional £1,074.47. So let's do the others. Okay, so I'm going to delete this additional payments. Take that out. I'm going to leave a space in there. I'm going to put my ampersand in. We'll go to our leasing model. And I want that to be J5. Let's do the years one. Okay, so we'll get rid of the additional years. Leave a space again. Ampersand additional years. And then finally we'll do an additional months. Now if you forget to keep the space and you delete it, you can just add the space back in later so it's not a problem. So we put our months in there. Press enter. Let's see what we've got. If you make late payments and it will cost you an additional £1,074.47, this will involve an extra four over a period of zero years and eight months. Now what I can see here is I've actually got rid of the word additional payments where it should have been. So I'm just going to check the question again. Okay. So if we have a look at this, this will involve an extra four additional payments. So I actually needed the word Okay, additional payments there. So if we have a look at what we've got, okay, this will involve an extra, that's where four is, okay, so this is here where we need to type in the additional payments over a period of. Okay, so this will involve an extra four additional payments over a period of zero years and eight months. Let's put our graph back. We've nearly finished. Let's try again. Okay, that is now on the graph. We're asked to print a copy of this graph. So when we go to print it, there's a couple of settings that we need to change. You can see it's not fitting on one page. For a start, we need to change it to be landscape. Okay, it's still not on there. So here we've got a scaling option. And if we choose fit sheet to one page, okay, I can now see that's going to fit on one page. Let's just change it to color. There we go. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to include this text. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need it to do. And that is your graph finished.